This video will demonstrate how to compare a simulated land cover change to a reference land cover change using Dynamica EGO's Calculate Similarity of Differences model. This video should be viewed after the preceding video, Modeling Land Cover Change in Massachusetts using Dynamica EGO, where it was demonstrated how to create a simulated land cover map using Dynamica. A link to this video has been provided in the additional information below. We will be using the maps created within this video for our analysis. For this analysis, we will be using three categorical map files as inputs. For our example, we will be using maps of the Plum Island ecosystems in northeastern Massachusetts. The first is the reference land cover map at the initial time point, which in this case is 1985. Secondly, we will be using the reference land cover map at the final time point, which in this case is 1999. And finally, the predicted land cover map at the final time point. These three maps will be used by Dynamica to create a similarity of differences map. It should be noted that we utilized Idrisi Selva to create the map shown here for the sake of clarity but utilize the direct output files from Dynamica. From these three maps, we have two sets of transitions, which can be compared by the software. These transitions can be termed the reference transition between the 1985 and 1999 reference maps, and the simulated transition between the 1985 reference map and the 1999 predicted map. Dynamica has several models which can be used to validate land cover maps in different ways, but today we will be determining a similarity score between the reference and predicted transitions. The Calculate Similarity of Differences functor compares the reference and predicted transition maps by creating two new similarity maps. These two maps show how well the transitions in the reference transition map match the transitions in the predicted transmission map, and vice versa. This functor takes as an input three categorical land cover maps and outputs a single similarity map, which has values between 0 and 1. You can select the Edit Functor Ports option to access the different input maps and parameters. The three input maps are listed at the top. The Use Exponential Decay window size, and exponential divisor all refer to the similarity window, which we will discuss in detail shortly. You can select between exponential decay, which has high values at the center of the window, and decreasing values further away, or a constant window, which has only one value. For the purposes of this video, we will be looking at the exponential decay option. The window size is simply the size of the similarity window which must be an odd number. We will be using an 11 by 11 window. We will use the default value for the exponential divisor as well. Make sure Print Similarities is checked on and right click the Output Similarity Score to select View Report, which will allow you to view the final similarity score. To give you an idea, here is what the Output Similarity Map looks like. Values between 0 and 1 represent similarity scores with higher scores representing greater similarity. We will use a simplified example to show how the transition calculations are done. The top map represents our reference transition map, and the bottom map is our predicted transition map. The symbols A, B, and C in the map represents the gaining category over the transition period. So, if B represents the built category, then a value of B represents a reference gain of built over the transition period in the top map and a simulated gain of built in the bottom map. This is the similarity window, which for our example is of size 3 by 3 and uses exponential decay. The center square will always have a value of 1. The squares directly above and below and to the side of the center of square have a value of 0.5 and the corner squares have a value of 0.3.
These values are lower because these squares are further away from the center of the similarity window. The similarity window will pass over each square of the reference transition map. If that square has a transition, like this first square, then we look to see if there are any squares in the simulated transition map that have the same transition. Any such squares get a score based on the values of the similarity window, and we take the highest score, which represents the transition closest to our current pixel. Since there is an A in the simulated transition map to the lower right of our current pixel, this means our current pixel will get a value of 0.5. We then perform the same calculation for every pixel in the reference transition map, which creates our first similarity map, shown here. We perform the same process in the other direction by having our window iterate over all pixels in the simulated transition map. This creates a second similarity map. Once we have our two similarity maps, we can calculate a similarity score for each map. The map similarity score is the sum of all the similarity scores for each pixel divided by the number of pixels that experience transition. So, for our top map, we add the values, which equal to 3.8, and divide by 8, since there are 8 pixels experiencing change. This gives a map similarity score of 0.475. The same calculation for the bottom map gives a similarity score of 0.514. To get the final similarity score, Dynamica takes the minimum of the two map similarity scores. In this example, the minimum score is 0.475. Going back to the Pi data, when running this model, we get similarity scores of 0.27 and 0.22. If your two similar similarity scores are very different, you may want to check all of your input maps and parameters to make sure there are no mistakes. In our case, Dynamica will use the similarity score of 0.22. The output similarity map is the similarity map associated with this minimum score. In the similarity map, a value of 1 represents a transition predicted in exactly the correct spot to the correct category. Values between 0 and 1 represent transitions predicted correctly somewhere within 11 by 11 window centered on that pixel, with higher values representing transitions closer to the center of the window. These values are useful when comparing different land cover simulations to see which receive higher similarity scores. You can also look at the distribution of values in the similarity map to get an idea of the spatial precision of the simulated transitions. We would like to thank Professor Bertaldo Silvera Suarez Filho and the Dynamica EGO team for the developing the software, in addition to Professor Robert Gilmore Pontius Jr. and the Spring 2014 members of Quantitative Environmental Modeling at Clark University for their comments during the making of this video.